Uh, my name is Joey Lubelfeld, and I am part of the Master's Contemporary Performance Practice. My background is in directing and devising, particularly, so that's where I'm coming from, more of a theater background. This is a performance, it's called Queer Evolution, and it's in response to the mass shooting that happened at Pulse, a gay nightclub in Orlando, last June. Mm -hmm. And we're looking at the idea of healing around that, and so we're creating this space for the audience to come in to this club that we've created, and we're sort of gonna do a, a bit of a historical reenactment where we recreate that experience that they had where they hid in the bathrooms from the gunmen, so we bring people in there. And once they go into the different cubicles, we have many performances, so there are gonna be performances that relate to other really notable gay deaths like Matthew Shepard from 1998. There are going to be personal testimony stories about experiencing homophobia. There are going to be stories about where people were when, when they heard about Pulse. And we're also trying to implement some digital technology and use a, a slideshow of a stream of tweets and some live texting during the performance. And then everybody will come out and we'll have reset up the sink area to be a vigil. And so we'll have picture frames of everybody and flowers and everyone will get an LED candle that they'll light. And then that will be the end of the piece. And hopefully that vigil will be the moment where the healing occurs. <laughs> all of the reading that we were doing and just all of the discussions we've had about these different kinds of more like contemporary performance practices and getting more of a sense of that has reframed how I think about my work and how I can make it. And I've been able to come at it from more of a conceptual theoretical framework, which is really helpful because that way I understand what I'm doing. So when I go ahead and do it, I have a clear idea of what that effect is going to be on people. Um, George and Jaji have led us through a bunch of different exercises that they use with their work, um, different game creation exercises, and a lot of that I've taken and used in my piece in terms of structuring it and how I figure out how to make it work, sort of creating the rules of this structure is really something big that I learned from them. And so I don't think I would have been able to do this kind of performance if I hadn't had that class experience with the two of them. I would definitely recommend this program to other students. I think that what I've learned in this program and how much I've seen myself grow as an artist is incredible in the last three months. Just all of the information that I now have and all the different artists that I have that are inspiring me that I've been learning about in terms of other performance artists and, and being able to sort of pick and choose and steal things that people are using and find ways to incorporate that into my work. And I think one of the things that I appreciate the most about this program is that it's very focused on our specific interests and the work that we want to create. So it's looking at this idea of contemporary performance and using that to create the work that we want to go out into the world and make. It's not pigeonholing us or forcing us to make some kind of project. Like the House of Healing, there was a prompt and we responded to, responded to that. But I was able to take it through a queer lens, whereas other students are taking it from their various interests and backgrounds.